working on their writing skills. Some students at Ladies Island Elementary School are taking part in a Pat Conroy Literary Center story building workshop. I hope that they can take that they can write, they can communicate effectively, and it can actually be fun. My goal is to see them with their own ideas, their own stories coming to life on the page. And whether that means that maybe someday might get published, that would be the frosting on the cake. Students work in small groups with members from the center writing short stories, poetry, and plays. I think what we want to do is the creative process where it's not so structured. And some of them, for instance, want to do nonfiction. We can already tell that. And some want to create some crazy fun characters. But to allow them to explore that and even perform that would be the ultimate goal in all this. The students are also learning how to create compelling characters for their stories. I was making a character and her name is Rosie and she's a princess. She has magic powers. She's very nice. She has purple eyes and her favorite color Purple. The school is excited to have this opportunity to offer the workshop to students in the first, third, and fifth grades. This project gives our students so much experience. Our kids are having authentic experience with the arts, and the skills are so transferable. I'm building greater writers, but then I'm giving my kids great life skills. You never know if I have a budding Arthur in our building. I never know if I have a budding screenplay writer in our building. And so I'm so fortunate and we're so blessed at Ladies Island Elementary School to bring authentic learning experiences in the arts to our students. The hour-long writing workshop meets on Wednesdays. I love like how you could do like you can write about anything, but like I mostly love like about writing is like how you can change things and how you can like make them seem realistic. The story building workshop will end in May at Ladies Island Elementary School, Ron Lopes, Beaver County School District. Too hot. Too wet.